Welcome back to our channel. I am so 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 happy for your response in business statistics one examination ma. So many of the students uh, are commenting in the comment section and personal messages also they are doing that they have wrote very well business statistics one because whatever the questions we have discussed that is the that they have given no. See ma from part A we have discussed parts of table and differences between uh, graphs and diagrams okay and uh, in this calculate see uh, we have not discussed problematic uh, much uh, in our explanation videos so theory 2 came and also limitations of statistics also we have discussed this is 3 okay this 8th decile and Carl Pearson coefficient of uh, skewness we have already discussed in long so you know about that okay next uh, quartile deviation also we have discussed so part A I think everyone have attempted at least 5 questions whatever we have discussed now the coming back to the the more most important section part B ra. in part B what we have discussed the first question about the statistics in my handwritten notes also I have given that only no so only about the statistics important nature advantages everything we have discussed that question compulsory they have given and coming back to the unit number two we have discussed pi diagram we have discussed Ogiev curve along with the median also so most of the students I think uh, have uh, written attempted pi diagram I think so because it will be easy what we can do in that extra two columns will be there one is the percentage column next one is the cumulative percentage how you will do the percentage amount divided by total into 360 degrees because pi diagram is nothing about the 360 degrees in Ogiev curve what we will do less than cumulative frequency more than fre cumulative frequency we will do okay so these two questions we have discussed this question also we have discussed now coming back to the unit number three ma arithmetic mean like how many methods we are having in arithmetic mean three methods direct method shortcut method step deviation method yes so this type of question we have already discussed in our explanation videos okay in opposite they have asked more so we have not discussed more we have discussed only mean and median okay now coming back to the unit number four ma in unit number four they have asked about the see here twelfth question b calculation of coefficient of skewness and quartiles and quartiles is nothing about the what it means Bowley's skewness okay what is the formula of Bowley's skewness q3 plus q1 minus 2 median divided by q3 minus q1 we need to calculate median we need to calculate q1 we need to calculate q3 yes simply one column only you will have that is called cumulative frequency yes I hope this everyone have attempted I think so next and the last unit unit number five we have discussed Carl Pearson correlation rank correlation yes so most easiest is Carl Pearson correlation only know what is the formula sigma dx dy divided by under root sigma dx square into under root sigma dy square right and rank correlation formula will be 1 minus c sigma d square by n of n square minus 1 clear so each and every question each and every question it has been given ra. so i hope that everyone who followed my videos can absolutely score o grade in this subject so i think uh, this will be the most easiest paper uh, in your third semester ma. and let me know in the comment section how you wrote this uh, business statistics whether the question is a, a repeated or not whether my videos is useful or not and who are waiting for the next subject academic uh, subject uh, year like for example rdbms or fim or any other subjects of your upcoming exam let me know in the comment section and also let me know who are waiting for the epic series <laughs> okay so that's about the video enjoy your holidays and uh, all the very best from my side see you all in next video bye bye students